Jennifer. And I'm Todd. And um, we're starting a business, Moo and Brew, and we're going to be doing gourmet milkshakes and gourmet coffee and other things too. We decided to take a little trip and see how many local coffee places we could hit. And uh, we're currently in Black Mountain, and uh, we'll get you a little clip of that here in a second, uh, our view. But uh, we're fixing to go get some more coffee. We hit, I think, four different local coffee uh, shops yesterday, and uh, we'll send a link in the description to some of those for you, too. Um, and we plan to hit some more today. Um, our first stop is here in Black Mountain, and we're just kind of... Um, not really, we, we wanted to go to local places, try not to go to, you know, the big box stores, the big name stores, and just see what uh, what they're doing and what works for them, and try to bring the best of the best back with us so that we can serve our local area. So uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll show you some more of what we do today. We didn't get much video yesterday, but uh, like I said, we'll send a link in the description uh, to where we've gone. Uh, make sure you hit our other videos up and uh, check them out. Uh, there's some going to be some more how-to videos. There's a couple up now, but uh, make sure you follow our journey. It should be fun. We made a trip um, from South Carolina to Lincoln, Illinois um, this past summer and bought a 1966 vintage Shasta camper um, with the hopes of restoring it and using it as a camper to travel with the family and everything. But we changed our mind and decided that um, we wanted to go with something different. And we both love coffee. And we both, um, Todd's in the food industry right now. And we decided to make the leap and uh, challenge ourselves and make it into a coffee and milkshake and food truck. So uh, we're going to go get some breakfast and definitely some coffee. And uh, y'all follow along. from Sumter to Black Mountain, we tried to hit every local coffee place that we could find. And um, we started off at Bloom in Columbia, South Carolina. And it was a nice little quaint coffee shop, um, beautiful sitting area. And we enjoyed our coffee a lot. I think I had something lavender and honey, which was great. Then we ended up at the vestibule in Clinton, South Carolina, and uh, met a very nice girl there. They had a, a nice sitting area, and I think we had, I had Irish coffee, which was, I don't remember, but it was, I remember it was good. It was very good, and the girl was very sweet there. The barista was really helpful and um, talked to us for a long time, and we had a nice discussion with her. This one doesn't have anything on it, but we saved this um, as our little, little memento from Open Road in Columbus, North Carolina. And it was off the interstate. Um, again, very, very nice. And they had a couple of different ways that they were preparing coffee. So we got to ask some questions. Again, the baristas were very friendly and helpful with us. Then we went to... Blue Ridge Biscuit Company in Black Mountain, which is one of our favorite places to go eat. Um, they also have a nice little coffee bar. Um, the food is great and biscuits as big as your head. They are pretty amazing. One of my very favorites, the Dripolator in Black Mountain, North Carolina. Um, really cool building, great atmosphere. They have chocolates that are locally made. 
dark chocolate, which they also put in their coffees. Um, very friendly, always good, always consistent, and always good. So one of my favorite cups of coffee, Tripolator. One thing about the Tripolator right now is they are only taking cash. This visit, this, this trip, and visit all these coffee shops were pre-COVID, but uh, currently they are only taking cash if you go, and we do recommend checking them out. Um, next, another one of my favorites, this came from sassafras on sutton in black mountain um it is a wonderful little bookstore and a great coffee in the back of the store um i, I always go in there and anytime i have a question about a book they've got it and they're super super friendly and have a great sense of humor and another place we have fallen in love with is Dynamite Roasting Company. We've been there several times. They have some great coffee. Whole bean. They sell whole bean, um, which we really love the espresso. And they also have a pretty cool record collection that we got to play with. So we uh, would definitely recommend checking out as many local places as you can, uh, support them. Um, that's what our goal is, to support the small business. And uh, make sure you check everyone out, and we'll throw some links in the description. Thank you all, and make sure you hit the subscribe button.